That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, the birds have now scattered everywhere. They're like, why is this person clapping? I'm clapping because I'm really proud of you. Now, I know I said that in the last video, but uh, I am really, really proud of the journey that you have just embarked on. And I wanted to give you a little round of applause because it's kind of a funny symbol that comes in for me uh, when I am reading for people. Uh, spirit will come through and and actually kind of send like, congratulations, great job, we're so excited for you. It's funny because it comes in, it feels like when um, like when a crowd cheers at a sports event. It reminds me of like what happens when the crowd goes nuts when you're, you know, uh, making a big big play or something like that. And that's the sense that comes in and I can see hands clapping and that's guidance coming in saying, congratulations, we're proud of you, we're excited for you. So I just, I was trying to, you know, channel that a little bit <laughs> since that's one of the symbols, but I, I really am proud of you and I'm really thankful that you've engaged uh, with me on this journey. And again, allowed me to be a guide. It's a privilege and an honor to be, you know, part of your path and to be part of your journey. Uh, I want to just let you in on where I feel like this goes. And uh, you're going to decide ultimately at the end of the day where this journey goes for you. And hopefully you've really uncovered a lot about yourself. And uh, we'll revisit those questions, you know. Who are you? What is your loving truth? And more often than not, are you living in alignment with your loving truth? So when you get a chance, answer those questions for yourself now to kind of recheck in. And then from there... <laughs> if you want to, work through that process again. And that's the fun part about this process is it's really a never-ending journey uh, of growth and discovery and deepening our awareness. Uh, I had a very good friend and a healer uh, who described our journey as like a spiral staircase. And so we kind of move through life and our experiences. And after a while, like they kind of start to look really similar, but not quite the same because if we're growing and evolving, we're just seeing things from a higher and higher perspective, a broader and broader view as we move through our experience. So I'm half kidding when I say we're back to the beginning. Who am I? What is my loving truth? And more often than not, am I, am I living in alignment with my loving truth? Well, that begins the process all over again. And you can engage with this process as long as you wish. It feels like to me that it's, this is an, e an eternal process. This is the process of the soul. And it's a beautiful journey to be engaged in because we're on that path, I think, whether we realize it or not, whether we are conscious of it or not, but now you're doing the work, you've done the work, and so you're conscious of it. So now you can consciously continue to engage and re-engage with the work over and over and over, uh, deepening your understanding of yourself and your relationship to the world. And that's a powerful understanding. That is a deep and powerful awareness. I want to share with you where I think this process goes, and I'm going to share with you a download that I got uh, when I was finally called to uh, share this work with uh, with the public at large and with the people who I would end up coming to contact with uh, that would engage with the work. So I answered the call to begin to share what I had been learning and discovering. I'd been on the journey. I'd been on the path since I was a teenager. Um, and all of a sudden, in the shamanic drum journey experience, I was called to now share something I was terrified to do because I'm like, this is my personal practice. I don't want to share. This is my stuff. This is me. This is that quiet thing that's sacred and nobody else, you know, can touch that. And that was something I've had to work through. But once I got into the process of sharing, one of the downloads that came into me, one of the insights was that if we think about loving consciousness and that loving vibration of creative intelligence, and you may call it something different. I call it God. Uh, we can call it universal loving intelligence, uh, the creative, compassionate intelligence of the universe, um, the all that is, whatever, however we conceive of it and frame it. We got this image of the earth and like this little energy field around the earth. And the energy field represented this uh, loving dimension of consciousness. Just think of it like a frequency or like a channel, you know? So let's say right now earth is on channel three and channel three is broadcasting a very particular uh, programming. Oh my gosh, this is a very relevant analogy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's broadcasting a very particular kind of uh, programming. But if we change the channel to say channel four, channel five, channel six, we get different programming. So this field was, let's call it the, the channel, the loving channel, the loving field, the loving frequency. Let's call it channel seven. 
feels good. And so I can see this field of energy around the earth. And then what, what I got in my meditation was that every time I make a connection to that channel, uh, it strengthens the earth's connection. It's like I'm making a link. And then when I made a connection, it's almost like that frequency, that channel, that programming was like a little close. It, it drew a little closer to the earth. And then it was revealed to me that uh, everybody that I come into contact with, whoever, you know, as if I'm connected to that channel, whoever I come into contact with now, even at an unconscious level, gets to sort of be in the presence of that programming and that channel. And that strengthens the, the connection and it draws that field even closer. If someone else then chooses to turn in, tune into that channel and that frequency, the connection gets stronger and the field uh, draws closer to the earth. And then essentially what I watched happen is that multiplies. So with every connection that's made, the overall connection gets stronger. Uh, the people that are closer, closest in proximity, literally in a physical way, uh, to um, whoever's tapping in also now has uh, an easier ability to access and channel that field. And I watched that process take place until that, that channel and that frequency fully integrated with the earth. And it just became a part of the earth. So just a, I think a great symbolic analogy for how this process of uh, our elevation of consciousness is working. And it really clarified for me what, um, what we're up to when we embark on this journey. Because at the end of the day, we embark on this journey to know ourselves and to know our connection to this higher dimension of our loving self for our own experience. And that's us being that, that direct channel. But because I'm plugged in and I'm learning my lessons and I'm bringing through insights and I'm acting and expressing in a creative way that is in alignment with this loving channel or this loving frequency, well, now the people uh, who experience, you know, uh, the things that I do in some way are having, um, having an experience with that frequency as well because that's what I'm repeatedly connecting to. And then for other people who choose, I'm going to say this very specifically, for those people who choose to be a channel and, and, and practice the process of linking up and channeling that frequency themselves, uh, strengthen that connection and help that consciousness and that vibration integrate literally with the physical earth. So that is what we are up to. And so if we are someone who, who feels like we're here to uh, breathe life and have an experience that transcends the old human story, the old human story of division and competition and warfare and violence and uh, a lack mentality, uh, a scarcity paradigm, if we feel like we're here to experience something more expanded than that, something that leans toward more harmony, more balance, more cooperation, more collaboration, more unity, more wholeness, then we plug into that frequency that allows us to be an experience and live that for ourselves. And then we become kind of like a Wi-Fi hotspot booster for that loving consciousness and other people around us can then kind of tap into that frequency too. It becomes part of their field and part of their experience by virtue of interacting and relating to us. And then when they turn on their channel and they bring themselves into harmony and balance and they embody the qualities and characteristics that allow them to be unified in themselves, well, then we are moving towards from like kind of a grassroots level, moving towards a more whole and balanced and healed collective. But a whole and balanced and healed collective can only be born from a whole and balanced uh, collection of individual beings who are whole and balanced and healed in themselves. It's very grassroots. The good news is, my understanding is, uh, this shift can happen rather quickly. And the more conscious it is, the more we choose it, and the more we fully step into the journey, that process that you and I have just uh, walked through, the, uh, the, the more easy that transition into a new and more loving world will be. We'll be equipped with the intelligence, the wisdom, the creativity to help us navigate that transition to bringing about a better world. All that to say, 
I believe that you are a channel for love and I believe that you are a channel for a better world. You are an opportunity. Uh, you're an opportunity to be a sort of a revolution of consciousness in and of itself. But, that, but you're responsible for that. That's your responsibility. And that's my responsibility. And it's the responsibility of the others around us to wake up to that potential in themselves. Uh, and perhaps the most authentic way of bringing about that revolution is for us to just be that change, to be that revolution, to be that unified, whole, and balanced, and healed version uh, of ourselves. To be that, to model it, and to create from that place so that uh, those who have not chosen to embark on this journey intentionally still get it and they see the modeling and there's an understanding about, oh, this is how we do cooperation. This is how we move through challenges. This is how we create intelligently and sustainably. It's a very powerful process and, and you're a part of that journey and you're a part of that process. So thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for being here in this time and in this space, uh, working on yourself, working on your healing, working on your connection to loving awareness, because it literally, uh, it's transforming you, but it's also transforming the world. Um, and we can't do it without you. <laughs> the world doesn't transform without you. So thanks for being on that journey. Uh, and I hope that you continue to find inspiration uh, and wisdom in and something that you picked up from here, you know, uh, that you continue this journey in your own time and in your own way. Uh, I, I had, I've written, I've written a second book. There will be a, there's a second course or another course called Be Still and Listen that is very specifically geared towards deepening our understanding of our intuition and unlocking the power of our intuition and learning how to dialogue with uh, loving consciousness, loving awareness, and to be a real creative, intelligent channel for loving awareness um, through the use of our intuitive senses. And uh, that's a separate course, and I'm going to encourage you to check that out uh, when you can and when you're called to it. Uh, it. It takes a lot of what we've worked on now to another level, another level of awareness. Um, you may or may not have come to this, uh, this course um, first or before that, but I do feel like this stuff that we've worked on here together is a, is a foundation for that work. But this, at the end of the day, the, the two pieces really complement each other. They both um, help lead us to the same journey of deepening our awareness, uh, improving our, our communication between ourselves and loving awareness, and learning how to integrate and be our loving truth in the world. So definitely check that out if you have the opportunity. If you know somebody who you feel like would benefit from this material, someone who is a seeker, who is a healer, who is a lover and a giver, and someone who really does believe in bringing about that revolution of consciousness, that revolution of mind that we need to create a more uh, sustainable and healthy and harmonized and balanced world, please share this course. Please invite them into the community. I uh, would love to have their presence here because this is all about, again, in a grassroots way, connecting and deepening our relationship to ourselves and the divine, which then turns into deepening our connection between ourselves and each other and building a really um, powerful, conscious, and uh, loving community from the ground up. So uh, I would really appreciate that. I appreciate you. Again, thank you so much for your time, your practice, your patience, your diligence, your persistence and most of all, for your desire uh, to know yourself deeply uh, and to bring about the truth of who you are and, and to express that out in the world. Uh, the world is a better place for it. And I just really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll see you around in the community. I'll see you around on the road. And, uh, and I thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful rest of your day and a blessed journey. <laughs>